Zack Snyder's cut of the Justice League is going to be released on HBO Max in 2021, the biggest victory of a hashtag movement since Sonic the Hedgehog was fixed. If you've been clamoring to see this version, you now have a reason to subscribe to the new subscription service in like a year when it actually comes out, since most of their big launch releases have been delayed due to plague. It will reportedly cost another 20 to 30 million dollars to finish Snyder's version of this film. That's on top of the 300 million dollar original production costs, all to premiere on a fledgling streaming service. The original visual effects crew is being brought back, and potentially some of the cast. The reports have only said to redub lines. There hasn't been any indication they will shoot completely new scenes with the actors, but I think you would almost have to, otherwise it was so close to being done in Snyder's original vision that retooling and reshooting by Joss Whedon would feel almost completely unnecessary. Though, given how much of it was CG in the big fights and action scenes, and with the budget they're proposing, they could make more changes than I thought would ever be possible. Before the details of this announcement, I thought most, with a Snyder Cut you'd have some alternate takes, some different scenes, all accompanied by incomplete special effects shots, and with some storyboards thrown in to fill out the runtime of a completed movie. This is beyond what I ever expected. Several stars, including Wonder Woman and Aquaman, have voiced their support of this release. And Joe Manganiello, who played Deathstroke in one scene, put out a tweet indicating the new cut may include a fight between him and Batman. This supports rumors that were out at the time about him filming a fight sequence. Overall, I don't think I will personally like the Snyder Cut any more than the original cut, since I don't think they can alter the plot that much, and it was one of the weak points in the theatrical release. I also didn't agree with his vision in Man of Steel or Batman v Superman, but the thing he is best at is creating some cool and interesting moments, so if all he gets is a cool Batman Deathstroke fight scene, that's still pretty sweet. I know there's been a steady voice of people asking for this cut, are you excited for the new release? Do you have really high expectations or do you just think it might be interesting to see a different take on a big budget movie like this? That's the part that interests me the most. Thanks for watching, please subscribe to the channel and check out my other videos. Give it a like. Bye.